test of the Dynaco PAS preamplifier after installation of the D-Lab power supply module. The rest of the PAS is stock, still has the Dynaco tubes. The main filter cap is still there, however not connected anymore. The power supply now does all the work for the 12x4 rectifier and the DC that is supplied to the filaments of the 12x7 tubes. And as a bonus, this orange thing you see is a relay that switches high current to the switched outlets on the back of the preamp to turn on and off your power amplifiers. And that relay removes the stress from your power switch of the preamp. In its stock configuration, this switch would not only power the preamp, but it powered the switched outlets on the back of the preamp, which turned on your power amplifiers. Unfortunately, these switches are only rated for about 3 amps of current, so over time they'll arc and eventually fail. That's and that's why I incorporated the relay into the module as well as a half amp fuse that protects the main power transformer. This is a great upgrade for your Dynaco preamp. Let's take a listen to it. following video is a test of the Dyna PAS preamplifier after repair test conditions. The Dynaco is feeding a Dayton DA30 Class D amplifier with a pair of Polk Audio R15s. Audio source is a JVC CD player.